Welcome to back to Point Blank. <laughs> We're on the topic of ex murder scenes, and we have Eugene Lim from ERA and Wisely from the Society of Paranormal Investigators with us. So we understand that murder can be a premeditated crime, uh, driven by different motives, but it can also be a result of some extreme emotions or psychological reasons, which can be closely linked to our physical environment. So Razor TV has gone on a murder scene tour with Feng Shui Master Baby Boss to find out more. Three women lost their lives in their rented flats at Yishun Avenue 11. She survived the brutal stabbing but lost her mother and her right eye. He is the sole suspect of this murder. Razor TV met Feng Shui consultant Baby Boss at the crime scene. He will tell us if the murder could be a result of some unfavorable elements in the physical environment. So it should be that way. Yeah, let's go. Okay. First factors are, you see, uh, even in the daytime, currently at this hour uh, before, uh, before the sunset, this place is actually quite dark. Uh, and this place has the altar, religion altar at the middle of the house. Uh. Usually for people to pray with a religion altar, they create an affiliation with altar. So let's say sometimes if the altar table is dusty or what, these people are likely to encounter problems, sickness. Uh. You see, this altar table itself is quite dark. You, cannot, you can actually, standing from here, you cannot mm -hmm. see clearly the face of the, mm -hmm. the statue of mm -hmm. the deity they are praying yeah. to. It will cause people who will have the problem of so-called being a self-inferior, mm -hmm. being depressed. Uh. Mm -hmm. And also, the, win the middle window itself, uh, it has the combination star of lawsuit star. Mm -hmm. So this lawsuit star, I mean, like, it can mean fine someone, uh, or it can mm -hmm. even be court case. Uh. So this lawsuit star, they belong to metal elements. Mm -hmm. If you don't have any earth or any metallic element there, this thing will be activated, it won't be so-called enhanced. But let's see, it's in the middle of the house, outside facing, they have one metal thing, metal round thing here, mm -hmm. yeah. directly, which act as the activating star. Lah. So once this thing is being activated already, there are bound to be some lawsuit cases. The flat is now occupied by an old lady who has declined our interview request. So we have moved on to another recent crime scene at Henderson Road, where a Chinese foreign worker stabbed his colleagues to death in their rented flat. If you take this unit itself, the door opens at the northwest. Uh. Since year, two, two, year 2007, there are some unfavorable stars. Uh. Mm -hmm. 2007 is an argumental star. 2008 itself is an argument plus signal star. This northwest position, uh, mm -hmm. which is actually at this door position, if you take from inside, uh, mm -hmm. is actually where the, the fighting stars are. These fighting stars, they are actually afraid of red color items. If you, if you don't have any red color items there to activate, or if you don't have any movement items there, it's actually fine. Uh. There may be only some minor quarrels. But if you come closer to look, uh, they actually have one red color yes. pipe outside this house, uh, right outside. which is one of the factors affecting it. They are very easy to have problems of argument or disagreement. Okay. If you take this whole block as well, uh, the northwest corner is where they are doing some renovating work. Uh. That's right. Yeah. So inevitably, it's also activating the stars. Okay. So if you say these people are actually always passing by the area, this thing will even happen more faster. The owner of this flat is now giving the murder scene a facelift. If they believe in feng shui, they can probably incorporate some of these suggestions from baby boss, such as to avoid red color objects and entangled plants in their choice of decorative items. Uh, just a note to share, actually Baby Boss as well as our camera person Kuma have fallen sick after this shoot. Yes, that's yeah. right. <laughs> and uh, you did say that when you mm -hmm. went to one of the yeah. former murder scenes, mm -hmm. you, you felt... Yeah, I just felt like someone is exerting pressure on my neck and it's a very unusual feeling because I don't get that and it's not sore throat. I mean, yeah, the, camera, yeah. the cameraman has been on MC for a while now. Yeah. <laughs> I hope it's well. Yeah. Okay, we'll take two mm -hmm. comments from uh, the web. Ploy Uranium says, according to hearsay, Adrian Lim had killed the victims in order to offer their blood to the Hindu Lord Kali. And Ploy 8989 said, yeah, there are a few books written on Adrian Lim's case. It was mentioned he needed real human blood as offerings to Lord Kali. Um, mm. Can you tell us a little bit more about Lord Kali? Yeah. Uh, basically, Lord Kali is a Hindu goddess, mm. whereby uh, the, the Hindus will use blood to sacrifice, uh, as an offering to her. Mm. Uh, currently, in, in some parts of India and some other countries, they still use blood, but not human blood, but blood of the goat. Blood so they actually the goat, slaughter the right. goat in front of the statue yeah. and mm -hmm. 
the blood will all spill out and smear it on the statue itself. Oh. And usually it's... I mean, it's just a cultural it's thing. It's a cultural right? thing. Okay. Uh, 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 but, but in uh, Adrian's, Adrian's case, case, he uses it for the wrong yes, you, reasons. You, you, actually, you can have any symbols with you, any statue, any items from any religion. But if you use it in an improper way, you're not following the proper religion's uh, 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 doctrines, right? Mm -hmm. it, it becomes of a personal uh, case already. It's not due to the religion teachings or whatever. Mm. I believe Adrian Lim uh, is more of a cow rather than a Hindu. Okay. Cow. So he would you uh, actually recommend uh, people who have approached you to use incorporate some of the feng shui strategies uh, into the cleansing ritual? Yes, yes. In mm. fact, for the Chinese uh, community, whenever they move in your house, be it whether they have any, uh, any dark secret behind, mm. they will have a certain rights uh, to appease the local earth spirit. We call it mm. Antu. And after, after that, uh, then they will move in. Even the, 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 our very common housewarming mm -hmm. is a kind of right mm -hmm. to make the place a uh, uh, better place for them to live. Whereby, uh, when people get together, positive energy are emitted okay. to chase away any negative energies. Oh, uh. I didn't know the significance of housewarming until now. <laughs> Eugene, uh, in the course of uh, being a real estate mm. uh, agent, uh, do you find uh, clients who are extremely fussy about... Uh, you know the feng shui of their house or their prospective house oh yes um, in our course of work we will see we will encounter all sorts of people right mm -hmm. um, they, did they bring a feng shui master with um, them there will be usually some of them um, okay. that will actually bring if they I mean for them they, they believe yeah. and so they they bring their, their own feng shui master to actually assess mm -hmm. the place before they actually buy wow. so there will always be these people uh, but then there, there are also people who are um, who don't believe in all this, and so okay. they they are quite they they make objective um, uh, decisions like uh, what wisely shares is based on feeling. Like they walk into a house, they feel good about the house, mm -hmm. uh, they will buy. If they walk yeah. into a house, they feel they don't feel good about the house, then they uh, they they will go look at for another place. Okay. Yeah. So is there a certain trait uh, among people who are less superstitious and who are less fussy about the history of these flats? Um, it all depends on mm. um, the person <laughs> and the person's uh, buying the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. uh, generally. Would um, you say that younger people are less superstitious, um, less fussy? Well, if we were to put a a, a person to it, yes, uh, generally the younger people are are more open. Mm -hmm. uh, it's usually the those that have the older folks uh, mm -hmm. uh, that will be a bit more fussy about th things like these. Okay. Uh, Wesley, let me ask you this. Is it possible uh, to coexist with, mm -hmm. uh, let's Lingering say, vengeful spirits, spirits yeah. Yeah, or uh, vengeance spirits? Mm -hmm. I do not think that is uh, really possible. You can coexist with spirits, but if these spirits are ven vengeful or regen revengeful, right, you must do something about it. Okay. Because they want something, the spirits want something from you. If you don't satisfy their needs, they will... <laughs> they will do something <laughs> nasty to you. So, vengeance spirit, no. Okay. Spirit is in general possible. Well, it's widely believed in many cultures that if a person dies angry or unhappy, that person, there's a mm -hmm. chance of that person turning into a, yes, a vengeance spirit. Chance, right? So, mm -hmm. um, I guess when people choose not to buy a, a flat where somebody has been murdered, they have grounds for <laughs> doing that, right? They have Basically. grounds, but I'm, I believe that as long as a, you... you you did the correct ritual for them, right? You can still buy the house. It's not an uh, uh, absolute yeah. of somebody died that you cannot buy forever. Okay. That's not the case. Yeah. Okay. okay. So thank you so much for staying with us on Reiser TV. And thanks Eugene and YC for joining us in the living room today. So we have come to the end of the show. Yep. And we hope you'll still be around to sleep <laughs> slung me tonight. Our Reiserism for today is, it's not the house that makes a home, it's the people who live in them. So who lives in your home? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining yeah. us. Bye-bye. <laughs>